Bill Gleason and I uh, go back many, many years. His scholarly works are well known to most any serious student of Aikido, and we're really happy to have some time with him here. Bill, thanks for being with us. This is a very physical art that has been created because O Sensei reshaped the techniques of Aiki Jiu Jitsu according to the Kototama principle. And uh, the result was an art that you could practice with full force and full contact without injury. And therefore, you were able to uh, develop yourself. Uh, without any holding back, you were able to develop a, a greater degree of sensitivity, a greater degree of intuitive perception, and so forth. It is a form of Budo, and Budo is also a subdivision of Shinto. And here's where we get to the, to the unifying factor, because the unifying factor of the spiritual and the physical is principle. And the principle is, in Japanese terms, it is the principle of Aiki. Uh, but it's existed since time immemorial through as far back as we know. I mean, it's, it's the foundational principle of all the major philosophies in the world, beginning with Indian Hinduism. And as I think I've stated before, uh, the, the, I think the problem or the, the subject matter, or however you want to phrase it, uh, can't be uh, divided into two categories. Uh, the... Uh, martial or physical, if you will, and the spiritual, because they're historically inseparable. And actually, if we don't understand uh, the nature of Aikido itself, uh, certainly in the terms that O-sensei uh, expressed it and, and manifested it, then uh, there's no way we're going to know how to practice it. And if we don't know how to practice it, then uh, as my teacher in Japan, Yamaguchi know, Sensei used to often say, he said, and to your point, uh, merely repeating techniques forever is never going to produce Aikido. It can't be grasped. And this is what in Japanese is called Himitsu, which means literally secret. But the, the etymology of the word from a Shinto point of view is Himizu, which is fire and water, which is... Uh, the main expressions of yin and yang. Uh, this principle, which, which Olsen say borrowed the word from the ancient history of Aiki and uh, used it for the creation of Aikido, if we don't understand that this principle is the foundation of both the spiritual and the physical, then as you say, we end up repeating techniques endlessly and uh, the training doesn't happen. <laughs>